hello, hello. Welcome back. Or I should say, you know, welcome back to me because I'm back for you. Yeah, it's been a while, right? Um, <laughs> like a year while. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> things happening. Yes, true. But the episodes are going to come back and I'm excited to start with me. Seriously, though. Um, but yeah, today's episode is catching up with me, Amber. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's it's been a rough couple of years and a lot of things have changed and locations and thoughts and processes and all the things. Jesus, yes. Um, you know, so there's that. Um, you know, in the future, these will be recorded earlier and in better lighting. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so that's gonna happen, but, um, I just wanted to just, just talk to you guys, just to tell you what I've been up to and what's coming and, uh, all the things, um, uh, yeah, so <laughs> that, but, um, first I just, I just want to take a moment to, um, there's a moment of silence for everyone who is, who's going through something right now. Um, you know, there's literal war happening right now. And, you know, sometimes it's easy to disassociate and, and not think about things, especially when it's not your home that's being destroyed. But um, people's lives are being just ruined afar internationally here in florida in texas it is a lot so just let's let's take a moment for everyone and and just have that thank you <laughs> thank you um so yeah, catching up with you, catching up with me, catching up with us. I took a hiatus, I did. Why did I take a hiatus? Well, for one reason, <laughs> specifically. What is procrastination? But it wasn't just that. I, I, I was, I, I've, I've been going through quite a bit. Um, I have, uh, I was, I have a, uh, Words. <laughs> so I was ending a relationship at the time. I was having piss poor pain management. Uh, say that five times fast. And I, I was kind. Of, I was just. Uh, I was so unhappy. Um, I don't know. <laughs> that's the strong enough word for it. I, I was dogs um yeah I was depressed a lot of the time and you know it, it as much as I loved doing this and talking to people I could not keep smiling at the time it just didn't feel genuine to me to try to keep smiling and and being happy when I genuinely didn't feel that so you know I took a break from a lot of things I wasn't writing, I wasn't doing this, I wasn't, I wasn't doing a lot of things. And um, I was working and that was terrible. Um, not, <laughs> working is not terrible. Where I worked was not doing anything for my mental health at all. Um, but there, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah. So just life, life was happening. And unfortunately life and doing this podcast video cat I still don't know uh it wasn't it wasn't cohesive it wasn't working together uh and so I had to pick one and I chose trying to figure out life choose life um, which I'm glad I did because that means I could come back yes come back um so yeah so uh, so 
great things have been happening uh, and challenging things have been happening. Uh, and sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. Come now. <laughs> but, uh, the short film that I wrote and co-produced after Forever was produced. It's, it's beautiful, a uh, wonderful film about what happens when a couple gets hit with, with the curveball of all curveballs, you know? Um, it's available on YouTube. I have the link below. Please go watch it, check it out, share, comment, subscribe to our channel, like it. Uh, we will have more content. I will be actually doing more of the catching up with you with um, the director and some other folks. So stay tuned for that. I'm really excited about that. And, you know, I, I love the film. I mean, yes, it, it's, it's, yeah, I wrote it, but I, I watch it because I didn't, I didn't direct it. And, you know, uh, and so to watch someone be able to see the thing that I saw and make it happen visually, it's just, it's a, it's beautiful. And I continue to find beautiful, th more beautiful things in it. So I'm really excited about that. Also, uh, I redid, <laughs> I rewrote, uh, I rewrote um, what I wouldn't do uh, again. <laughs> Sorry, but look, it's a novella now. Oh, yeah, come on. It's a novella now. That's excellent. That's amazing. Oh, look at that lining change. Um, <laughs> and it's beautiful. And I cannot thank uh, my friend, uh, Angel enough for her help in, in getting this story where it needed to be. Cause like visually I saw it, but of course it's my baby. So, you know, so there's that, I did that. And, uh, it's out right now on all digital platforns. It's, it's amazing. I bought it myself. I bought a copy, not just to make myself feel better to see a sale, but I just bought one cause it's, it looks good. And it's, and it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. And I'm reworking the novel that accompanies it. And that will be available coming this Christmas. So I moved. Yeah. I left New York um, because I didn't like it. <laughs> Please do like everybody in New York hates me right now. Oh my god, corny, <laughs> lame, boo, tomato, tomato, tomato. I'm throwing tomatoes. Look, there are things that I loved about New York, but you know, I think sometimes you realize that there are places that you have synchronicity with, and there are places you do not. And New York and I were just kind of like, I feel like every day I was in New York, it was kind of like, but did you die? I don't like that. I don't like that energy. It just wasn't for me, but you know, still a great place. It just, just, you know, we were not simpatico, you know, we were not vibing all the time. Most of the time, 99.9% .9 of the time. And I just, I needed to kind of come back to my roots. So I did come back to Minnesota for a little while, but you know, it's not the last place I'm going to be. So just stay tuned for that. And what else? I'm, you know, I'm getting healthier. I, I came home with, with the, ex, like, with the, with the, the, with the clear understanding that I needed to take care of myself and I needed to make myself the main character and, and put myself first. I gotta put me first. I gotta put me first. I gotta put me first, Lucy. And so I have been, to going to the doctor, getting everything checked out. And it's been really, uh, <laughs> I can't describe to you the, <sighs> the joy I feel working with these doctors and, and getting answers and feeling good. Uh, and I haven't felt physically this good in, in years. And so, it's, 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 it's new. It's different. It's, it's, it's revolutionary in a lot of ways. It feels good. Um, I, I just, I, I, I can't, 
I'm thankful. I'm so thankful. And I needed to do that. I needed to, I needed to get my energy right. I needed to get my health right. I needed to, there's so many things and, and they are, they're happening. So it is now, it has now allowed me a space to come back to creative endeavors and really push those and be excited for those. And yeah, so here we are. Yeah, I know you thought this was gonna be like a long one. I nah, I don't know. If you want more information, I guess I could I could happily tell you <laughs> more things, get in depth with stuff. But you know, I just wanted to check in and tell you that you know, life loves to throw you curveballs here and there. But you know, it's really just about how you deal with them. And sometimes, you know, nobody's road is linear. And mine is definitely not. So, uh, <laughs> you know, you take the good with the bad, but you know, I'm, I'm okay. I really am. And getting better every day and just being grateful for every moment that I get to do the thing that I love to do because do the things that I love to do because there are people who can't and, and, between pandemics and isms of every kind, of people dying constantly, of war, of so many things. It's, it's, it's sometimes hard to see the positive, but, but I'm working on it. And, and just know that, uh, I am definitely sending love to you and to the world. I, yeah, I am definitely sending love out there, you know, sending love to my African brothers and sisters across the diaspora. I know that on top of everything else, you have to deal with that. So, um, yeah, so that's what I wanted to say. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to catch up with you, with me, with us. And, that's 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 what I wanted to do and just know that there will be more of these and I'm very excited and um you know I'll check in with you a few times you know definitely but I look forward to the next couple of episodes because we will be checking in with some really awesome people some beautiful creative geniuses and um yeah so that's it um Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for catching up with me. And I look forward to talking to you soon or to more, to new, to better, to bigger, to all the things. And um, I've also added some links down below, uh, some reputable links if you want to help out um, different places. So this is what we do around here. We care. Don't, don't, don't at me. All right. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>